Hey there, Taurus. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. Any information on booking a personal reading, merch, becoming a channel member, Amazon wishlist, all that and more is in the description box below. But let's get into it. Let's see what's coming through for you guys. For Taurus, please and thank you, Spirit. Past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. We have awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. I also have integrity at the bottom of the deck. Does this situation align with your morals and values? With children here, there could be children involved. Um, this could be somebody you knew in your childhood. But for others of you, this could be something that's new. Yes, you have a past life, but you're just meeting each other in this lifetime. So a couple different scenarios. You'll know which one fits you best. So grab that and let's continue. What else do we have for Taurus here? All right, at the bottom of the deck, I'm on the way. Oh, interesting. Somebody's trying to make their way to you. For Taurus, please and thank you. Unexpected text messages. You already know this person. You already know this person and maybe you felt like there were some changes they needed to make. So maybe you stepped aside a little bit and you're noticing that they have in fact made those changes now. Wow, look at that. Our connection is crazy. You can literally feel when this person is near you or thinking about you. You somehow know things about them without realizing like, no, I'm sorry. You somehow know things about them without having any kind of reason to believe that that might be what's going on. Yeah, this connection is really strong. This could be twin flame. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Is this how you're feeling about somebody else? I mean, flip it if you need to. Oh my gosh, our connection is crazy is still at the bottom of the deck. You can hear me shuffling, right? You can't hurt me anymore. Somebody was hurtful. Somebody was mean. I'm, I'm specifically hearing the word malicious. Oh my gosh, that card just wants to keep coming out. So one of you distanced yourselves um, so the other one would kind of not find you or... Oh, somebody changed their phone number. That's why it's an unexpected test me blah, blah, blah. an unexpected text message or phone call because how did you even get my phone number? Our connection is crazy. Yeah, how can you connect with me? That's crazy. Ooh. We got some tea on the table, Taurus. What is with all the I feel like this is the green glass door. All right, let's see what else we can get. Let's put some tarot on this, yes? <laughs> oh, man. Mommies can come in, but moms can't. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's definitely a soul contract. This is also um, toxic. You know, somebody was toxic. But again, it's like somebody has awakened and, you know. How do I want to word this? Um, somebody's gained some perspective here. Someone has gained perspective on, I want to say, what the real world is like. It's almost like somebody had this fairy tale idea of how love should work or how something should work. And they have recently gained some pretty serious perspective. 
I almost wonder if like you're going through something that they didn't understand, but now someone else that they really care about is going through it and they're like, damn, maybe I was a little bit okay, yeah. Some somebody's just kind of realizing what's going on. Yep, look at that. This is like when the Grinch's heart grew three sizes that day, straight up. You know, and sometimes people don't realize, like, they genuinely don't understand. Or they get the wrong idea. Anyways. Maybe they went through it themselves. Maybe there was some karma here. Movement of swords. Here comes the communication. Wow. There's somebody watching this person change. This person that's watching all of this, the, the heart growing three sizes, that's who's going to be communicating. Yeah, we have the Empress. The Divine Feminine is in hiding right now. You see the Hermit sticking out? The Divine Feminine is not really... Um, so this is probably the masculine energy then. That, oh, that makes sense. Masculine takes energy. I mean, sorry. Masculine takes action. Okay. Um, so far we have Capricorn and Aquarius. Oh, Capi Aqua Cusper, possibly. Five of Swords. That's what it is. Somebody... Yeah, somebody realizes that they may have kind of been a jerk and they feel like crap about it. Somebody might even feel like they made a big deal out of something that essentially wasn't a big deal. I think somebody basically regrets the decision that they made here. Um, at the time, it probably felt right, but... No, they've, they've come to realize that that may not have been the best of moves. And I think they're just making changes because they don't want to be that guy, you know, or that girl, whatever. They, they don't want to be that person. That's not who they strive to be. That's not what their goal is. And so it, it kind of feels like somebody's been doing a lot of correcting, a lot of working on themselves. Good for you. Good for you. You know what's wild is like when you do the inner work, some of the stuff can be so triggering. Like it's just, it's making me remember um, when I really struggled to um, people just lying about me and, and talking just bullshit about me behind my back and how much that really bothered me. And like, it was so hard to get to this point where I was like, Okay, if that's how you feel, I mean, you know, that's your perspective. It doesn't mean that's really who or how I am. It's hard when people are in your face telling you all these things about yourself that aren't true, and you just have to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. It is so hard to, to do that at first, but, like, once you do... It's like a new achievement unlocked. <laughs> it's great because like now you really don't care what other people think. You just focus on being you because like there's no point in trying to prove yourself to people that are dedicated to misunderstanding you. It was a fucking game changer for me. It was so hard at first, though, and I'm getting that that's what this is. Like, something was so hard for this person to realize, but, like, once they did, they were like, oh, hell no, I am not, no, I got to fix this. I got to do something about this. This, I can't do this. This isn't going to work. We got to make some changes here, <laughs> like, today, right? I'm actually getting, um, and this is very specific, so take it or leave it. Um, somebody just threw a bunch of stuff out. Somebody just threw a bunch of stuff out. We have judgment. Yeah, exactly. They're making the judgment call here to change their ways, to um, really step into their heart in a 
deeper way. It's almost like, yeah, it's a new achievement unlocked. Somebody didn't even realize that this was a thing. You know what else this could be? This could be that somebody did not realize they do something until it maybe gets pointed out. Like maybe you tell somebody it is so fucking annoying that you blah, blah, blah. And they're like, are you kidding me? That's so rich coming from you. Do you, do you not realize that you do that too? And you're like, no, I don't. And then you start paying attention and realize, ooh, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Earth mother, yep. So there, there is communication with the feminine here. I think I said that, didn't I? I already said that. Somebody's communicating with the feminine energy. Two of wands. Probably still in the energy of deciding what to say or how to say it. Somebody's got the phone number and they, like, how? How? Let me peek at the bottom of the deck here. So somebody's terrified because uh, they don't know which way this is going to go. It could, wow, wow. It could really hurt. It could really hurt, but they're making a decision to do it anyways. Especially if there's like mutual friends, or is that a page? Yeah, it is. A child? Oh yeah, mother, duh. <sighs> Wait, didn't we have children at the bottom of this deck? Yes, we did. Okay, so there really could be a child here. For others of you, there could be a child that wants to be born, and that's kind of what's energetically bringing you guys together. Again, take it or leave it. Not everybody wants that. For others of you, this could be a soul contract here that's ready to kick off. Because somebody's made the conscious decision to, you know, change some ways that they might not have even realized was a thing. Yep, look at there. There's victory here. So, I mean, if, if and when they're ready to go for it, there will be success. <sighs> Extremely intuitive individuals. Both of you. Both of you. Holy shit. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody definitely kind of sabotaged things in the past. Um, but wow, are we changing that through time and healing? Yeah, somebody definitely needed time to heal. And they're becoming the wiser for it. This is really powerful, guys. We have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Libra, Libra, Taurus, and Pisces, and Aquarius on the board. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave this right here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.